I'm Matt, I'm a uh, test engineer in the Dynamics team for Railspace. Uh, so my current role, I'd say, is a test engineer. So we do both vibrational and shock testing. Uh, so we have space hardware come in, uh, we conduct our vibration shock testing. If the customer's happy with it, we send it back uh, and it can then be uh, integrated into the satellite. Uh, so I did mechanical engineering at uni. I was quite interested in space, so I actually applied for the graduate scheme here. Uh, so it's a, a two-year course where we have training, uh, so you have your technical training in your role, uh, and you also have training outside of it, so sort of more managerial and soft skills as well. Uh, the fact that it's quite variable, so uh, no day is the same, so we have different bits of hardware coming in, uh, and it really sort of keeps it fresh and makes it up. Uh, so, one of the main things with, I would say is uh, make sure you sort of keep up to date with space technology, how, that, how it's developing, how it works, all that. Uh, and also uh, look for opportunities where you can sort of demonstrate your interest in space. So if there's something at university, a society, or even just a uh, sort of day out uh, to one of the space centres, anything like that sort of shows you have an interest in space is useful. One of the key things, uh, particularly in the space industry, is think things go wrong. And that's just inevitable in life in general, as well as work. Uh, and one of the sort of key things is not about the, the actual failure itself, but it's about how you react to the failure. So it's sort of the persistence, keeping going after, afterwards and trying to then develop uh, a better solution or uh, develop a better process or anything like that.